Months of covert police work have led detectives to the backyard of this row of shops in Manchester. What they have found inside could take them into new and unknown territory. Sky News has been given exclusive access to this police operation designed to crack down on organised crime. And as we followed officers into a property, we found air rifles on the landing made to look like assault weapons and behind the bedroom door, another rifle. But it was what they found inside this workshop downstairs that was perhaps most significant. This is a 3D printer. It can make everyday items using very thin layers of plastic. Police believe they've found the first case of its kind in Britain where this technology has been used to make the components for a gun. Detectives suspect the machine was used to make this a trigger. Also found in the workshop was a magazine which it's claimed could hold bullets. If proven, this will be Britain's first 3D gun factory used to make a plastic gun capable of being fired but invisible to X-ray security scanners. In May, a US defence company successfully fired the first ever gun made with 3D printer technology and announced plans to distribute the blueprints online. At the time, it was warned that criminals may try to use the devices to do something similar. This new development has huge implications for Britain's ability to track down and tackle gun crime. We will need to look at this new development, but I do think it is crucially that in this country, illegal possession of a firearm does attract a very lengthy prison sentence. And as long as that continues, I think that will act as a, a huge help to us in controlling what, by, what might be this new phenomenon about 3D guns. The discovery of what could be a new generation of firearms comes after a week-long operation against Manchester's crime gangs. Right, Rick, we're getting no reply. This flat in the city centre is where thousands of pounds of heroin and amphetamines are dished out to the addicts who flock here. This is the bottom of the chain, and the police believe that a raid like this one sends ripples higher up to bigger criminals. At another house, detectives find... OK, so... ...in the... Uh, ...contains rolls and notes roughly about... Five, six grand, probably there. Floor, heroin, cocaine, packaged up and ready to be sold to the dealers. The estimated street value of this is staggering 100 pounds. Crime is such a says the chief constable, that he believes it's as serious as terrorism. When I see things even like, you know, some groups trying to nobble juries, trying to intimidate police officers, trying to corrupt other public to give them information, provide them with houses or whatever that is, you know, for me, that is a threat to the state. That is a threat to our democracy. ...did 3D gun factory, a man was arrested, being questioned. It's found were for a gun, then a new type of weapon has arrived in Britain. Nick Martin, Sky News, Manchester.